Welcome to the second day of ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to be joined this morning in the studio by Jung Ju Sung, who is from Ripple Buds, and they're an SME uh, from Korea, and it's being hosted, who are being hosted here by KT. Jung Ju, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about Ripple Buds. What's Ripple Buds all about? Yes, so Ripple Buds is a company that develops and manufactures Bluetooth ear set that I'm wearing right now. And we use noise blocking technology for the Bluetooth ear set. This is very differentiated from bone conduction technology. And also it's differentiated from noise cancellation technology as well. And it's a, it's a microphone that yeah. you wear in your ear, but you can also hear through yeah, it, is that correct? Yeah, that's our solution. So we, our solution is we placed microphone and speaker in the same place here. Yeah. Great. And where are people going to be using this? Where, uh, so actually it can be used anytime, anywhere, any environment. It doesn't matter where you are, then how noisy where you are in. Yeah. And who do you foresee using this? People uh, using it with their mobile phones, or is it something completely different yeah. to that? Well, this one can be for like those who spend a lot of time on the phone, and also it can be for like music lover because you can listen to music with this Ripple Buzz too. Great. Now, what's the biggest challenge that you faced as an SME? I wanted to ask. Yeah. So since this technology is the world the first technology, so we've faced many challenges. So one of the ch challenges we faced is eliminating echo and howling problem which occur when mic and speaker are placed together. So our engineer actually spent like four years to solve this problem. Uh, it's a technical challenge, but what about uh, challenges in terms of actually making it as a company? Uh, first, we have a really good technology that never used before. Yeah, I think that's the one, like one kind of technology, yeah. But is it is it finance that uh, that you need? No, or? we've actually invested from like some China factory company and like other factory and also KT Korea company, telecommunication Korea company. So yeah, there was another key and to succeed. Yeah. And how long have you been going now? Oh, uh, it's about like a year. Yeah. And in terms of collaboration, uh, if you could partner with somebody, who would you preferably partner with? Well, actually, there's a lot of companies that we could actually collabor collaborate with. So for example, like smart device, smart devices company. So imagine if you are using AI voice recognition service in a very noisy environment. So the voice recognition service will not hear your voice in the very noisy environment. So if we, if our technology can be collaborate with the AI voice recognition service then. I think that'll be really good, yeah, for and people use the voice recognition service in a very noisy environment. Now it's quite, it's quite large at the moment. Do you foresee making it smaller as well? Uh, yeah, we could. Yeah, we can smaller, make it smaller too. And perhaps looking at some broadcasting uh, situations such as this one, for example? Oh, yes. but. When, like for example, if you're broadcasting outside, which is like windy or, you know, then it could be really effective using this. Great. And then finally, you're here at ITU Telecom World. You're being hosted here by KT, obviously, yeah. which is a great opportunity for you. How has the feedback been for you and how useful do you think it will be for you to have been here? Well, um, as ITU is a global gathering for the telecommunications, so I think we, I believe, participating in ITU is really like great leverage for us to introduce our the world first technology to like global market. And the next ITU Telecom World will be in in Busan in in Korea. Yeah. So, do you think you'll be attending? Yeah, we those? will definitely participate in Busan in Korea. Great. Well, we look forward to catching up with you then. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.